Hello and welcome, new and returning Thrive students. Hi, my name is Galet Bolaños. My pronouns are he, him, his. And I am creating this short um, Thrive New Student Welcome video um, just as a way to welcome everybody back um, to, um, to the semester, to a brand new semester. Um, and just to give you all a little bit of an overview of what Thrive is going to look like this semester. Um, I think this is a little bit more uh, relevant for new incoming Thrive students. Uh, but if you are a returning Thrive student, um, it's great to hear some updates. Um, and for returning Thrive students, I just want to thank you all so much for your commitment to completing Thrive um, uh, Cliffs uh, last semester. In the spring, I'm sorry, in the fall of 2020, we had a very good turnout. Um, so I do uh, definitely want to thank you all for that. All right, so I want to begin with introducing the uh, Thrive Student Coordinator, um, Arely. She uh, joined us last semester and has been amazing. Um, please know that Arely will be your main contact for any questions or updates, anything regarding Thrive. You'll see emails from Arely coming from um, AAC underscore Thrive underscore coordinator at mail.colistate.edu. All right, so here's a little Thrive overview. Um, so if you are in Thrive, this means that you are a continuing AAC student. Um, you've already completed your Thrive seminars. I'm sorry, your ARRIVE seminars. Um, and that you are not in your final two semesters before graduation. Okay, if that fits you, then that please know that that means that you're in Thrive. Um, if you are in your final two semesters, or if you are brand new to our program, um, then chances are you might not be in Thrive. So I would encourage you to talk with your retention specialist. Okay, all right. So the expectations for you as a Thrive student are that you attend two community learning forums by the end of the semester. All right, and then we do have um, the expectation that you attend at least one by the mid-semester deadline, which I'll go over a little bit more. Okay, the other Thrive expectation is that you meet with your retention specialist uh, a minimum of two times per semester. All right, that is um, going to be an expectation for you all the way throughout um, your time at, at the AAC um, through graduation. Okay, so what are community learning forums? Um, so CLIFs are 30 to 50 minute learning workshops that are offered virtually and occurring throughout the semester. Um, they are offered virtually as long as the pandemic is happening. Um, and so I just want to let you all know that um, during this last past semester, as well as this spring 21 semester, um, everything will be virtually. So you don't have to go in anywhere on campus, uh, like physically going in. You don't have to do that. It's just uh, logging in via Zoom. Okay? But please note, these are uh, roughly 30 to 50 minutes long. Um, they are learning workshops, very engaging, very informative. Um, that are going to help you succeed um, during your time as a continuing um, college student. Um, these do have certain categories associated with them. Okay, each cliff that we offer every semester will consist of um, one of the five categories. All right, we have academic success, we have career or professional development, we have financial literacy, um, personal health and growth, and finally, the leadership and involvement. All right, you'll find cliffs all spread out throughout the semester offered to you um, that are gonna be um, surrounding those five categories. All right, and my intention, my, my really big hope is that by the time you're done with the Thrive program, you have a much better understanding um, and background on just a better idea of knowing what these, uh, the, the aspects within these five categories. Okay, so I really hope that you, as you are um, rolling on through your semesters in Thrive, that you are a little bit conscious about which um, cliffs that you are choosing to watch. Okay. All right, so where do you find your cliff? Okay, the easiest way for you to find your cliff or the, either the next coming cliff or a recorded cliff is by checking on our um, website. Okay, our website is aac.colostate.edu. And um, on there, we have a, a, a tab for current students um, that's called Thrive. Okay, and that's where you can find all the upcoming live clips that are happening this semester, 
as well as all the recorded clips, the clips that are already there and available for you, um, which you can actually find uh, right now. As you're watching this video, know that they're available right now. Okay. Um, another way that you can find your cliff is by checking your email. I know that you're always going to be encouraged to check your email for everything. Um, and that's what I'm also going to say uh, about, about Thrive. Okay, make sure to check your email, uh, uh, your CSU email. Um, most of your emails are going to come from the Thrive student coordinator. Um, some of them from me as well. Uh, also, you can find information about Thrive or Cliffs in the AAC Weekly Newsletter. Okay, that's something else that we, that we send out every week, um, and you'll see about the upcoming Cliffs. And uh, another way that you can hear or find out about some clips are through your retention specialist. Okay? So as you meet with them during your first or your second semester meeting, um, they're going to be aware of uh, if you have gone to retention specialist, or I'm sorry, if you've gone to any clips yet, if you haven't, where to find them, they're going to uh, be um, familiar with where you're at with the Thrive program. Okay? And then we also have social media. So we have a uh, Facebook page, we have an Instagram page, that uh, we will also be creating um, flyers for, uh, and we'll be advertising our um, upcoming Thrive Cliffs uh, through those social media platforms as well. So you can find them that way. All right, so attending a live virtual cliff. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to have around um, seven to 10 live cliffs that are going to be happening this semester. Um, and these are my encouragement for you, even though we have the recorded ones, which you can watch at any time, my encouragement is that you attend the live virtual clips. All right, and with these, it would require you to sign in using, um, using the Zoom link that is gonna be provided for you. Um, and that's gonna be, again, via email or in the AAC website, that's how you can um, uh, log into the actual clip that's gonna be happening. Um, and I hope that you're able to log in uh, probably five or 10 minutes before the actual cliff starts. Uh, that way we don't have any interruptions uh, as the cliffs get started um, and that we can, uh, so that we can properly uh, track attendance. Okay. Um, it's, there's a benefit of going to the live virtual cliffs as opposed to watching a pre-recorded one um, because it allows, it allows for live engagement and interaction. You can ask your questions right there. Uh, you can um, uh, interact with other students who are also there. Um, and it's just another way to stay connected, um, to build community and just stay connected with, uh, with the AC through, uh, through live um, communication. Okay. Uh, please know that these clips will be recorded um, and they're gonna be available afterwards. All right, so as you're there, know that um, Probably if, it, if you interact, if you engage, if you, uh, you know, have a response or a question in that live cliff, um, that'll be recorded um, and know that it's going to be available for later. Um, if students um, happen to miss a live cliff, if you, uh, you know, are working or in class or something and you really wanted to attend that cliff, but you can, um, know that it'll be later available for you. Um, we'll record it, we'll add it to, our, um, to the list, to the library in the AEC website. Okay. For every single cliff, there is going to be a, an evaluation required. This is how you receive your credit uh, for attending a cliff. All right, uh, whether it's a pre-recorded cliff or a live cliff, you will be required to submit an evaluation. This evaluation will be available. Um, you can find this evaluation on the AAC website. Uh, you will find it uh, attached in uh, the emails that we send you about upcoming cliffs. Um, and you can just ask for it too. You can email us, we'll make sure that we give you um, that information as well. All right, so pre-recorded cliffs versus recorded cliffs. Um, in the case that you cannot attend a live cliff, please know that there is a library in our AAC website um, of pre-recorded and recorded cliffs. Okay? They're available right now. Um, and throughout the semester, you can watch those, okay? This is an alternative to the live cliff. If you can't attend a live cliff, make sure that you attend one of these. There should be absolutely no reason why you can't complete your Thrive requirement this semester. We've made it very easy for you to watch a cliff, um, a video, whenever you want, uh, during your own time, and submit your evaluation for it, okay? The difference between a pre-recorded cliff and a recorded cliff is that pre-recorded, um, 
our presenter recorded this on their own without an audience. Um, they just recorded it so that you can later watch it. The, re um, the recorded cliffs are cliffs that happened last semester um, with a live audience, but they were recorded as well. So um, this was a live clip last semester, but because they were recorded, we, uh, we still have that information. Um, and so uh, it's a great way to uh, to get uh, to find additional cliffs um, and other uh, topics, other um, yeah, just titles that are uh, within the library that you can watch or applicable for this semester as well. Okay, um, that's a great thing is you can watch and learn at any time um, on your own time if you watch the pre-recorded or the recorded cliff. Um, of course, the evaluation is still required um, for those. Um, as the live clips happen this semester, they will be added to the pre-recorded to the list of the pre-recorded clips. Okay. Um, again, if you do happen to miss one of the live clips that are going to be happening this semester, know that um, you can watch it at a later time. Uh, find it in our library um, on the AAC website. All right. So um, this is really important. We do have a mid-semester and semester deadline for our clips. Um, our expectation is that you attend or you watch at least one cliff by mid-semester. Okay, the mid-semester for this spring 21 is going to be on Friday, March 12th. Please, please, please make sure that you attend at least one cliff by that time. Okay, there's going to be a lot of live cliffs and there's going to be, again, the pre-recorded cliffs that are available on the website. Um, please make sure that you do that. Uh, we will be in communication with you as this mid-semester deadline approaches. And if you don't meet that mid-semester deadline, we're going to be in communication with you, making sure that um, uh, just trying to find out the reason why, uh, just to make sure that you don't miss out on that deadline. Okay. Of course, the expectation is that you attend at least two by the end of the semester. You're always welcome to attend more, the more the better. But again, the minimum is two. Okay, that pretty much sums up the expectations um, for the Thrive program for this spring 21 semester. I do want to let you know that um, my contact information is right here. So you can contact me at galet.bolaños at colostate.edu uh, for any questions. If you have questions about Thrive, um, if you wish to maybe present a cliff in the future, um, or any other updates or any questions that you have, please reach out to me. Um, also, please know that Aureli, the Student Thrive Coordinator, is probably going to be the main contact. So you can also reach out to Aureli. Um, the, the large majority of the emails that are going to be sent to you about Thrive this semester are going to come from Aureli. All right. And that's going to be shown as the uh, AAC underscore Thrive underscore coordinator at mail.colorstate.edu email. Okay. Um, ask your questions away. Um, please let us know if you do have questions about um, about Thrive, reach out to us. Uh, reach out to your retention specialist about expectations about Thrive. Um, and any other things, make sure to reach out to us. Okay. That's really all I have um, for this semester, everybody. Um, thank you again so much for being so committed to the Thrive program. We really do appreciate it. Please be sincere and um, provide good feedback in your evaluations. Um, and again, as always, reach out to us, contact us, update us. We really appreciate um, all of your hard work. Good luck this semester, everybody. Take care.